I am pleading to my African brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters from the Caribbean, my brothers and sisters from Haiti, please y'all watch this video. If this video does not break your heart, I don't know what Last will. three years, more than 10,000 men, women and children have died trying to cross this stretch of water. Migrants, people, each one had a story, a hope, a dream. Come on, come on. This is what death and survival looks like. Uh, the interest, the needs, the vulnerability that constrain people to migrate because to the Gambia or to Senegal, to African political leaders, it is convenient even if we die in the streets, even if we die in the sea as much as we can send remittances. It is convenient for them f that we the youths who are potential revolutionaries leave the country and let them to dictate. So I am telling Africans who are there that I am guilty for being here. If you come here, you are running from your work. You are running from changing Africa and the generations that will become failures as well, we we, I contributed to it, and you are also contributed to it. You could contribute into it. So if I am speaking, and if you can hear me today, I am saying I should get back, and then we should work on what is happening because the future is in Africa. But the real question is: Is the future in Africa for Africans? Are we talking about Chinese colonialists, or we are talking about multinationals who have stole us the traditional livelihoods that, in fact, we hate ourselves? Africa is still a colonial economy, so it depends on what people are running from. We cannot talk about the solution without talking about the causes of the problems. Right. It right. will be false that we will talk about, okay, people will stay there. Which we all live in one sister system, capitalism, that creates illusions in everyone. I want to live in a house. It doesn't matter whether I live in the village or not. Why, who am I not to hope that I, I need the best for myself? We are slaved everywhere. We are discriminated. We are stigmatized. And I am not saying this is particularly Italy, but what, what are the other European countries who are helping Italy with the load of the migration since 2015? Why is Africa enslaved? We aren't poor. We will never be poor. The future is still there. The question is, who is this future for? Is it for Africans when we all run from the... From, from the... Yeah, that one was hard to watch. Our people, my people, your people, and they're going through this type of stuff.